Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This is uh, my first piece of home brewing equipment. I'm going to start home brewing shortly. This arrived from Germany this morning. This is going to be my hot liquor tank and my um, a copper. So that's very exciting. So. Look forward to lots of homebrew uh, videos and uh, and blogs and stuff like that in the future. And I'm really excited about starting to all grain homebrew. Anyway, less of the noise, less of the big shiny pan. Let's drink some beer. Right, the beer in question. I've had this in the fridge for a couple of weeks now. Um, it is a, a very well known beer, very highly acclaimed. It is Green Flashes Le Freak. As they say on the bottle, it's a co uh, an extreme ale converging San Diego style imperial pale ale and Belgian style triple. And it's um, and it's it's a it's a pint, and it is 9.2 percent. I've heard great things about this from everybody who's had it. So let's get this open and have a drink. Hopefully, it's not going to explode on me. I've had some bad experiences with. Belgian beers in the past, but that's opened nicely. Well, oh, I can smell it already. That smells incredible. So yeah, we've got. Oh, it looks lovely. It's like, yeah, as you'd expect for uh, an IPA. Yeah, I mean, and this is a West Coast IPA with a, a bit of a Belgian -y twist to it. But it looks like an IP, a standard IPA. Nice radiant orangey colour fading out a bit as it goes to the bottom but yeah a real nice kind of um, plush sunset of a colour with a little uh, a thin head quite foamy looking let's get a drink because I've just got back from work and I'm really thirsty and the smell of this beer is making me want to have a drink so but it's definitely got the Belgian yeast there not too much though it's more of the sweetness in there but definitely Tangerine that, that jumps out straight away. Yeah, maybe a little kind of phenolic. It's got both those. It's got the, both the aspects that you'd expect. And uh, I was talking to someone uh, the other week about this beer, and they said uh, with uh, with one nostril you smell an IPA, and with the other you smell a Belgian triple, and you do. It's exactly that. Big, big. Um, zesty fruity hops as you'd expect in a west coast IPA and that slight dryness, slight kind of phenolic quality yeasty as you'd expect in a triple so let's sniff in, start drinking oh that's magnificent it once again, as I said, it's doing everything that it says on, on the bottle. It's got brilliant aspects of both beers. It's really thirst quenching. I'm worried, to be honest. It's 9.2%. I've only just got back from work. First drink of the day. And it just goes down so well. It's bitter. I've got to admit, it is bitter, but it's not an overriding bitterness. It comes in kind of steps. Really, it's really nicely ba balanced as well. Grapefruit, definitely. I'd say that's more to the back end. Kind of like a bitter orange in there as well. Then, then the, the kind of smaller orange, the kind of satsumery, mandarin kind of taste in there as well. There is a element of the, the kind of fruitiness is what I got in the um, southern tier. Uh, IPA, but not as strong. So I thought that went a bit too far down the kind of tin mandarins route. But this is lovely. Soft. It's really a nice and soft body to it. Lots of fruit, but uh, yeah, definitely lots of citrus. But never um, becoming kind of too tart or uh, undrinkable or overpowering. Fruity, fresh, vital, definitely. It has that slightly fermented edge that you get in a triple. Never becoming as dry as a triple though. I do, Belgian triples are probably one of my favourites. The St. Bernardus triple, 
probably my favourite. I think it's a fantastic, the, probably the archetypal example of that style for me. Yeah. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's, it, it's a little bit boozy, I guess. Nothing um, over the top. It does everything perfectly. I hope I can get some more because I've been sitting on this for a while, waiting for the right time. I, I was sitting at work this afternoon thinking, I'm a bit bored. I can't get. Wa I can't wait to get home and drink that bottle of Lafrique that's been sitting in the fridge. It'll be perfectly chilled. It'll be a fantastic beer to do a video with, and then. Um, when I finish up this, do a bit of cooking, uh, waiting for the, uh, my wife to get home from work, and I'll and be sipping this w uh, while I cook. Uh, obviously, not the traditional cooking lager. I don't think, as you saw earlier, I don't think I'm going to be brewing any beers of this quality for quite some time. Maybe one day. Who knows? It's doubtful, but you can dream. Anyway, Green Flash, the freak, Belgian sta Belgian triple style double IPA. Uh, from Green Flash in San Diego. If you get the opportunity to get some, I know you uh, you viewers in the states, they'll definitely be able to get this without much trouble. If you can get it in the UK, look at Beer Merchants, look at Beers of Europe, all the top outlets online. Um, you might be able to get some. Do your best, because you will not regret it. It's an incredible beer. And thanks for joining me for another video beer review. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.